Hello everyone and welcome to Alice's Study Corner. Today we will be learning about the Indus Valley Civilization. So, the Indus Valley Civilization. It is one of the four main civilizations that we have to learn about. The first one is the Mesopotamian Civilization, the Egyptian Civilization, the Indus Valley Civilization and the Chinese Civilization. Today we will learn about the Indus Valley Civilization. Indus Valley Civilization was one of the first cities. So civilizations are when a city or the first cities are formed. The Indus Valley Civilization is also known as the Harappa Civilization or Saraswati Sindhu Civilization. The important sites here are were Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, Mehrgarh, Dholavira, Lothal, Rakhigari, etc. The Indus Valley Civilization spread over about 650,000 square kilometers. And from where to where? It stretched from Iran to Delhi. At present day, they may have been called different names before, but right now they are called Iran and Delhi. It also stretched southward till the Godavari River. So here we will learn about the different sites, the different uh, important things that were famous in the Indus Valley Civilization. So the first one is the citadel. There were two levels in the city. One was the higher level and one was the lower level. The citadel was on the upper level as shown in this picture. It was also known as the Acropolis and this was the higher level of the city. The lower level of the city was used for residential area of the common people. This we will learn in the next slides. It was on a platform made of baked brick. So the citadel was kept on a platform made of baked brick and it's not that a small platform. It was a very sturdy platform which could hold a lot of weight. It might have been the administrative center of the city. These are the both levels of the city. The top one is the citadel and the lower one is the residential area which we will learn about. Next, we will learn about the Great Bath. Now, what is a Great Bath? When we think about Great Bath, we form a picture in our mind which uh, thinks about bathing. So, now let's learn about why and how we use this Great Bath. So, within the citadel of Mohenjo-daro, a structure was found. This structure was called the Great Bath. It was a rectangular tank as you can see here. Here we can see it is in this shape because there are stairs here which cut it. But actually it is a rectangular tank. It was made with fired bricks. So the earliest citadel was made of baked bricks and this one is made of fired bricks. It was made waterproof because we didn't want it to get wet. 
by a 3 cm thick covering of bitumen. Bitumen is a material. What we call it is tar. The dirty water of the tank was drained out through a brick drain. So this is where the water used to be and archaeologists think that it may have been used in the older, older times or the ancient times to take bath for important ceremonies or events. The Granary The granary was to the west of the Great Bath. This is how it looked. It is a massive brick platform. The shape and size of this structure suggests that it may have been a granary. The residential area where the common people of the city used to live. This was a little away from the citadel. Platforms built for houses in the city were made. These platforms were made so that the houses can be built above flood level. So if there is a flood, the houses will not be disturbed. The rooms of the house were built around a courtyard. As you can see, this is a courtyard and the rooms were built around it. This is the top view. It may have been taken from a helicopter. Each house had a single entrance. There were no more entrances. There was only one entrance. Many houses had a separate bathing area. The bathing area may not have been fit in the houses. So we had a separate bathing area. Some houses were double storied. As you can see, some houses are bigger and some houses are smaller. This is the house, this is the picture of the houses of the residential area. The drainage system. You may or may not have heard, but the drainage system of the Indus Valley civilization was very, very popular and it is very famous. It was a very careful drainage system. It was carefully laid out. The drains led to a cesspool or manhole. This is the drainage system of the Indus Valley. It was kept along the main roads. They were inspected and cleaned regularly. These were covered with stones to protect it. Now, we will talk about the artifacts discovered by archaeologists in the Indus sites. The first one is, archaeologists found a bronze statue of a dancing girl. It was named Dancing Girl. It shows the style of jewelry worn by people of the Indus Valley. As you can see in this bronze statue, we see some jewelry on her. This shows that what the people of the Indus Valley would have worn as jewellery. Next very important artifact discovered was the necklace from Mohenjo-daro made of gold, agate, jasper, steatite and green stone. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Share this video with others so that other people can get educated. Bye!